CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 126 through 130. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 126. What is the most probable cause for a monitor to display an image with a pink hue, even after a technician has replaced the video card and updated the graphics drivers? The answer is A. Physical cable issue. A monitor displaying an image with a pink, yellow, or blue hue typically indicates an issue with the physical connection rather than a problem with the monitor's internal components or settings. This coloration issue often stems from a faulty or loosely connected cable, where all the necessary color signals are not being transmitted properly. Question 127. A technician is setting up a SOHO network with three wireless access points and wants to minimize latency. What measure should the technician take? The answer is D. Assign distinct channels to each access point. Using different channels for each access point in a SOHO network setup helps to minimize interference. Interference can increase latency as devices may have to retransmit data packets that don't arrive correctly at their destination. By assigning distinct channels, particularly those that are non-overlapping, the technician ensures that the signals from the different access points do not interfere with each other, thereby reducing the chance of latency and packet loss. Question 128. In a laptop, where would you typically find the built-in antenna for the wireless connection? The answer is D, under the bezel of the display frame. The antenna for a laptop's wireless connection is typically located within the bezel around the display screen. This positioning allows for optimal signal reception as the display is typically opened up and away from the main body of the laptop minimizing interference from the device's metal components. This strategically elevated point ensures the antenna has a less obstructed path for wireless signals, thus enhancing the laptop's ability to maintain a strong connection to wireless networks. Question 129. For a network requiring at least 10 gigabits per second throughput, which of the following would be the minimum cable category that could be used? The answer is C, CAT6. Category 6 cables are designed to support speeds up to 10 gigabits per second for lengths up to 55 meters, making it the minimum category suitable for a network infrastructure that demands such throughput. Question 130. Which of the following is the most suitable scenario for employing a client-side hypervisor? The answer is A. Testing applications in various environments. A client-side hypervisor is ideal for testing applications in various environments because it allows a single physical machine to host multiple isolated virtual machines. This enables software developers to efficiently simulate different operating systems, configurations, and environments on a single hardware platform. By using a client-side hypervisor, a developer can easily switch between VM to test how an application performs under different conditions without the need for multiple physical machines. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching.
Subscribe for more great content.